Hey y'all, this is Vic. Hey, thank y'all so much for stopping in. I appreciate it. Uh, and welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm going to do a few estate sales today. And uh, one of them being uh, up in uh, up in Huntsville, up on top of uh, Montesano Mountain. Uh, I got a little, I don't know, about 90 seconds worth of footage of, uh, of, of the fall changing and the curvy road going up. So uh, the home was actually at a uh, on the corner of the home that the estate sales at was a historical landmark and uh, so the end of that video will, will show that and you can stop and read that if you want to um, if not just fast forward through and get to the uh, get to the estate sale so I hope you enjoy it another one we go to is in uh, White Bluff Tennessee which was a pretty good ways away uh, that we had gotten in, got to got to go to it weekend for last so I'm catching up but on Montesano Mountain uh, my my papa would always say, "Boy, said, you know how uh, how they named that mountain up there?" And I'd say, "No, sir." And I was probably about eight or nine, I guess. And uh, he'd say, "Well," he said, "The Indians that live up there." He said, uh, "They had a this beautiful squall. Her name was Monty, and she was in love with the old pale face guy, and uh, she was actually the daughter of the chief. And they were going to run off and get married, and so." There's a spot up there on top of the mountain called Lookout, and you just look out over the city, and this is the spot that <clears throat> that the event take, took place. And uh, so, the old pale face guy took her there and was going to uh, ask her to marry him. And uh, out of the woods comes uh, the chief, and him and the him and the guy get in a fight, and boy, they're just going at it. And uh, the pale face guy gets the best of him. He goes off the top of Lookout Mountain. And as he's going down, he's hollering, Monty, say no, Monty, say no. And that's, <laughs> that's what he told me. So uh, anyway, say, hey, hope y'all enjoy the haul. Uh, thank y'all, and y'all have a good one. Thank you. Hope y'all enjoyed the ride to the estate sale. Uh, Monsanto is a beautiful place. I'm gonna do these different as uh, I'm going to start from uh, the last estate sale I went to and work my way back. So uh, just for you, Mr. Raw Bacon, uh, a red man glass cutter and the clips and a ruby and then a nice little wooden one. So I was able to add. Uh, three different brands that I hadn't had before. My wife found them for me. Uh, she also found this next set of uh, little tools. This little uh, nice, uh, I guess it's a uh, multi-tool. It's got a nice little wing tightener on it. And uh, you open the back up and it has all the, the little bits in there. And everything. So that's, that's pretty nice. And then this one as well and this one that the screw comes it goes in it and it it has the little drill bits and and bits in it as well so that was a pretty nice little little find I'm telling you boy she, she can she can find them she knows what to look for she also picked up this uh sharp uh japan single blade uh, lock blade stainless and made in japan that's a nice little little knife. Now, this I believe was a machinist project probably, but ain't that a cool little, I need to fix the tip on it, but uh, it's a cool little uh, screwdriver with the knurling and stuff there. And then she found this little small self-holding screwdriver by Craftsman. So uh, that was with a little spinner, that's pretty cool. Uh, she also found, I think this is a screw starter possibly 
little T-handle screw starter maybe. That's pretty neat. And then she had found this uh, little file with a little brass handle. I know Magda's drooling over this little thing here. And then I had found the little saw blade that looks like it went with it. So it may have been a set. We may have missed out on some other pieces or they had been lost, but uh, we found those. So them are pretty neat. So, so we got that, picked up a nice, I mean a nice bluegrass uh, hammer. Look at that thing, extra strong, solid fiberglass handle. People love these in my area. The um, three, well, get my cheaters. B0147-20. So that was pretty nice. Here's a great neck made in the USA. Patent pending. It's a number 92. Uh, that's pretty nice with the handle and everything. So that was pretty nice. Pick that up. Just old uh, Red Devil 4400 uh, scraper. I hadn't found a name on this yet. Pick this up. Nice little wood handle monkey wrench. And then just a number 28 auto wrench. Got this nice tri square. It's a Stanley. It's a number 20, 8 inch. I hit it with the wire wheel. I was, I was hoping it was a Stanley Sweetheart, but it wasn't. Picked me up a Stanley number 36. Another one. So this one, I don't know if these have been replaced. Here's my old one. It has brass. This has Stanley number 36 at the top. This, the one I just picked up, just has Stanley and then number 36 at the bottom. So this one at the top of the brass also has a, a mark here. It's 334. This one, this one is, needs the bulbs replaced. This one, I mean, they, they either new or... I don't know where he had found them because uh, on this one it actually has uh, New Britain, Connecticut, USA stamped on there. So, uh, anyways, that was a that was a nice little find to, to go uh, with this one. House of Windsor cigar box. It's a plastic one, and then you see it's seven for a dollar. Just a bunch of Master Lock keys. Uh, padlocks sorry and then this one is a sleigh maker rustless and it has the key with it so uh, that one's pretty neat and then this little master 105 laminated lock it was a dollar eighty at one time looks like and uh, new old stock in there so we got that picked up this uh, craftsman 42388 Western Forge, three quarter chisel. And then uh, this little short handled pinion sledge, I guess, or not really sure what, what you call that head. I don't, I don't know if there's a name there or not, we can find. But we got that. And a Stanley number 30 push drill that that doesn't work it uh, is going to need some cleaning and then last let me get this out of the way we picked up this international box a little red box small red box i mean it's six and a half inches by 14. it's pretty cool i thought this would be great to uh, keep uh, uh, little tractor wrenches that i've started to collect in and then it has these lights in it. I don't know. It looks like it was made for this to do that, or it was, or he customized it for this. Because to me, well, I'll show you the, the bulbs and stuff. But I don't know that these go into the tractor. But these has got the little, little green lights on it, and the little bulbs. To me, it looks like it came up. Uh, it was a like a tractor box that was mounted on the on a tractor to keep your tools in up there by your seat but uh anyways got the international logo there pretty cool so 
Let me put this up and get to, uh, to the, the international one. box of the green. On it. Gave it a little polish. We put a little, little flits on her. Uh, all the inside, I just cleaned it and and uh, polished it in there. But uh, I wouldn't suggest it, but I took all I did was take uh, acetone because I didn't care if it took it, the red off or whatever, but it ended up taking the... Uh, all the green off so I just kept at it and was surprised well I missed a little bit there missed a little bit there but uh I was surprised so uh yeah anyways I just want to show you all that well before and after now I got all that that green paint off so that makes it even cooler all right back to the two hall for the next one we uh went to a, a sale in White Bluff Tennessee so um picked up this uh magnetic tray it's got blue point here it says new standard of quality value from snap-on and look at there made into one so we got that but it's pretty nice the magnets are pretty strong also found this nice snap-on ga169 utility knife i was excited about that so uh it is made in the usa snap-ons they were pretty slick ain't they then look here I found me a double cola bottle uh, I don't think I have one that has this logo on it so I grabbed it a diet double cola I usually don't get these but it was there and they were I mean they rarely cheap so, so I got those two and I want you to look at here I know I collect these little box cutters look at that Boy, I was so tickled. I'm surprised I didn't cut myself. I was digging down in that jar so fast to grab that. So I was really excited to get that. And then uh, Royal Crown Coca-Cola bottle cap open. I was really excited about the double cola thing, so it was worth the trip there. It's a pretty good ride up there. Uh, picked up these. I'm not even sure somebody's going to help me out with these. I don't even know what they are. But they were interesting the way they looked so uh, I have no idea what it's for there's three sockets there's a Williams ST1 a Cornwell 11 16 and then I was excited about the bluegrass and uh, one a quarter until I looked and saw it's just cracked all the way down through there so so that was disappointing grab this little bulldozer <laughs> this little silo, metal silo. So we got it. Got this extension uh, Mac Matco. So it's uh, that, that'll come in handy. Pair of six inch uh, diamond Lyman's pliers, I guess. Uh, it's not stamped or engraved, so they're not that very old. I uh, wouldn't imagine. But it does say, does say diamond there. That's a little six inch Thorson. AW6 adjustable wrench. So I don't have one of those. A couple of picks. This one I might bust a handle off of and do a project and put it on a put it on a wood handle on it or something. And then this little pry here. A plastic uh battery terminal cleaner. <laughs> so so that hey Raw Bacon will be glad to see that, that that collection is growing. A couple of wrenches is all we got. Craftsman. 13 16 11 16 8 millimeter and then a little ignition a little 8 millimeter ignition uh, thing there. it's a Rodic made in the USA so uh, so I got that we can do some do some sanding so I hadn't tried it out to see if it works yet but then I was able to add to my um, there's a snap on uh, advertisement uh, screwdriver and another snap on this one's in better shape Goodlettsville Tennessee snap on and then a couple of craftsman pencils Niagara number four bench mountable hand grinding right, so wheel. moving on to the next one end up getting these Western Forge uh, punches here quarter eighth five thirty seconds 
three sixteenths. Large uh, extension cord. It's a real good, nice thick one. A pair of Crescent fifties. Uh, Jamestown, New York. Little six inch uh, Lyman's pliers. Made in the USA. Them are nice. Them will clean up nice. Just a cool little birdhouse. I might have to put the floor back in it before I can rent it out. But uh, y'all know I like my birdhouses. So that one's pretty cool. So, so we'll have to get that, that fixed up. This propane, I got it for the top here, is Freedom. I hadn't seen one like that before. But you can get your whole, I can get my whole hand on it. It's pretty big. But And then, of course, the propane bottle is, it's, it's probably half full. So, uh, so I'll grab that. Right, I thought so that was pretty I cleaned cool. up this little thing. And uh, I think you fill this, this gets filled up. This chamber gets filled up. And you make you a, uh, it's like a portable propane. So, that's just me guessing. So, I don't run off and do this if you got one. <laughs> but anyways, that's how that cleaned up. That's Craftsman pry bar. Looks like an older one. So, well, yeah, it is. Sears 6577. So, Scoutcraft probably like that. Made in England, record vice. <laughs> it's a quick vice. You just mount it to your bench. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I got it. So Mr. Jim, he, it's my first uh, uh, vice from a uh, nice little, I'm going to call it a bullhorn plane. I do know you hit that on the back to get that out. So <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I like it. I like the, the the handle cleaning, and I just wanted to show it off a little more. Uh, it doesn't have the little insert back here where you hit to loosen it up, but I did hit it to loosen it up. <laughs> but uh, you can see where it's this is pegged in. In here, I just cleaned it up, and I picked this up at the same estate sale, linseed oil, and boy, it's still good. Ain't that a cool can? And uh, so I used it on it. So I'm sure it's been rubbed now down with this. It. Most of these are, what is this one, Thorson, so this one here is a three-quarter action, Thorson, Thorson, pretty sure they're all Thorson, I never can pronounce that one, but there's one of them, Boxing. <laughs> open end. Looks like a quarter, through, uh, three eighths, half, seven sixteenths, nine sixteenths, five eighths. That's a nice little set there. Uh, two box in, Craftsman VV. Uh, well, this one's not a, a V or anything. It's just double line, nine sixteenths, five eighths. This is a VV, seven sixteenths and a half. The box in ones were, they were Vs. And open is a VV, 11 sixteenths, 9 thirty second. Bonaloy, 7 uh, sixteenths and uh, 3 eighths. Bonnie, so how about that? That's pretty nice. And then just a regular old, older vintage wrench, 8 millimeters, 10 millimeters. And so that's a Sears ratchet, uh, four three seven eight six. Three eight. Uh, Thorson brake bar, Vitaloy, a Billings. How about that? A Fulton. Got that. So that pretty, that wraps up uh, this two haul. I sure hope y'all enjoyed it, and uh, I thank y'all so much for uh, tuning in and. Um, hopefully we'll go out and find some more good stuff. So until then, hey, thank you, and uh, y'all have a good one. Thanks.